Welcome back to MPT. In this video, I describe vital information about GOVRT for SATCOM phased arrays. If you listen to the end, I will provide additional essential knowledge about GOVRT. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. Today, I'm gonna to talk about five important aspects of G over T for your next phased array project. The first thing is, you may be asking me, what is G over T? Well, G over T is the ratio of gain to noise temperature of your system, your phased array system. And so your first question should be, well, what is the gain and what is the temperature? Well, the gain is the gain of your antenna itself. What gain, passive gain, does your antenna have? And that's mostly due to the aperture the size of your antenna, which I'll talk about here in a minute. And so then you say, well, what's the temperature? Well, the temperature is the noise temperature of your antenna system also. And I'm going to talk about those aspects that affect the noise temperature. Why is G over T important? And the reason is that it affects your link budget. A low G over T receive antenna will have the ability to receive lower data rates from a satellite connection. So if your phased array has a G over T of 10 dB per Kelvin, then you're gonna be able to receive a certain data rate depending upon the transmit power of your satellite and the distance to the satellite. But if you increase your G over T to let's say 16 dB per Kelvin, then you're gonna be able to receive higher data rates compared to the 10 dB per Kelvin G over T antenna phased array system. So that's why it's important. G over T impacts the data rate of your connection to the satellite. Higher G over T is better for higher data rates. So then let's dive into what really the gain is. What affects that gain in the G over T equation? And what affects it is the aperture of your antenna. What I mean by aperture, I mean, what's the physical size of your antenna? That's the first thing that affects your gain. A larger antenna has a larger gain and it follows a very simple equation and you can calculate what that gain will be using that equation. And, um, but there are other things that affect it. For instance, the efficiency of that antenna. A low efficiency antenna will uh, have a lower gain value because the efficiency, a low efficiency degrades gain. A, a high efficiency antenna, which is something normally above 85 or 90 percent efficiency will have a resulting higher efficiency. It's not uncommon though to have efficiency numbers that are on the order of 50% and some antennas have efficiencies as low as 10% which is really bad because you're throwing away 90% of the gain of the antenna. The goal is to have a high gain antenna, high, high efficiency antenna so you achieve, you achieve all of that gain that's possible with that aperture size. So then thirdly, what affects the temperature? Well, there's a couple of things that affect the temperature, but the thing, the component that affects the temperature of your antenna system the most is your low noise amplifier. The low noise amplifier is generally the first component after the antenna, and its noise figure directly impacts the noise temperature of your phased array. Now, another thing that affects the noise temperature is anything that's between your antenna and that first LNA. For instance, cable losses to connect your LNA to your antenna, those increase the noise temperature of your uh, antenna system. Uh, any interconnects that you have in there, let's say a connector that connects from your cable to your low noise amplifier, that's gonna add um, loss, which is gonna uh, increase your noise temperature and therefore lower your G over T. So anything between that LNA input, that low noise amplifier input, and your antenna that adds insertion loss is going to degrade your noise figure, which will increase your noise temperature and therefore reduce your G over T. How are these, how is G over T used in a link budget calculation? Well, in a link budget calculation, typically there are factors that affect the the link that you have and the data rate that you can sustain, such as the distance between your antenna and the satellite you're communicating with, that path loss affects your ability, your, your data rate and affects the loss of your connection. And it reduces your, your, uh, your ability to maintain high data rate. The transmit power of the satellite affects your link budget. 
But a very important parameter that affects the link budget is your G over T. Higher G over T improves your link budget, which means you have more uh, gain uh, relative to your noise temperature, means that you have uh, you're able to sustain higher data rates and your carrier to noise ratio of your link is, is improved. If this video is helpful, then check out the link below. In it, I provide detailed information about G over T and how it's useful and essential for SATCOM phased arrays. If you're looking for a phased array partner, then consider us. We'll help you get your product to market faster.